Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday, November 5th. Pretty mild morning here in the Mid-Atlantic region, a lot of patchy fog around, and that will kind of be a, a repeating pattern over the next several mornings, some late night, early morning fog. Uh, this time of the year we have longer and longer nights, and the air mass is still humid enough that uh, in the late night hours it can reach down to or very close to its dew point resulting in some late night and early morning fog. That will tend to burn off by the mid and late morning hours with mostly sunny skies and much milder uh, weather compared to normal for this time of the year. Looks like for an extended period of time throughout much of the eastern half of the nation. In fact, the month of November looks quite warm for much of the eastern half of the nation. Colder than normal in parts of the western U.S., but it looks like a uh, quite a nice weather pattern setting up here. We do have uh, the remnants of Ada to worry about, at least for the southeastern part of the U.S. in the early part of next week. It has slowly moved inland over Central America, has weakened to a tropical depression, but it will re-emerge out over the warm waters of the Caribbean Sea over the next day or two, and then push towards Cuba and South Florida. Here is the last official forecast map prediction by NOAA's National Hurricane Center. Dumped tremendous amounts of rain on Nicaragua and now over Honduras. Again, it's weakened down to a tropical depression, sustained winds of only about 30 miles per hour or so. However, it will reemerge by tomorrow out over the warm waters of the far western Caribbean Sea, probably re-intensify as well back to tropical storm status, and then it will kind of uh, turn to the north and east and looks like impact Cuba and then maybe the Keys of Florida here, Key West for example, by the early to middle part of next week, likely as a tropical storm. So again, we're not done with Ada right now. The remnants will reemerge out over the warm waters of the Caribbean over the next 48 hours or so, and then it looks like it'll start to turn to the northeast and north impact in Cuba and southern Florida by the early part of next week. Well, let's take a look at the uh, ensemble run of the GFS last night, kind of a longer term view here. What we're looking at first, 500 millibar height anomalies from the 6Z ensemble run of the GFS averaged out over five day periods. This is the current five day period. We have very, very strong high pressure ridging centered over the southeastern part of Canada. We've talked in recent days Whenever you have a ridge over northeastern U.S., southeastern Canada, this time of the year, watch out underneath because you may get tropical systems that are able to push into the Gulf of Mexico, uh, uh, the southwestern Atlantic, and indeed that's what will happen with the remnants of Ada. And this is also associated with above normal temperatures, and we'll see that in a moment or two, but above normal temperatures for much of the time period of the next couple of weeks in the eastern half of the nation. At the same time, a deep trough sits over the western U.S. and some colder than normal air out across the west. Let's move forward here in five-day periods here. And this is now days four to eight, November 8th through the 13th. Still strong high pressure ridging over the northeastern part of the nation. Still reflection of a tropical system, in this case the remnants of Ada, which we may be dealing with for another week to 10 days or so. But notice out in the west, uh, below normal heights, and we'll see in a minute, below normal temperatures as well. We keep going forward in much the same pattern all the way out to days 8 to 12. We're now all the way into the middle part of November. Colder than normal, lower heights compared to normal out across the northwest U.S. and ridging along the eastern seaboard, and again, a very warm spell coming up for the next couple of weeks in much of the eastern half of the nation. Well, speaking of temperatures, let's take a look at the 850 millibar high, uh, uh, temperature anomalies here from the ensemble run of the GFS. And to go along with that high pressure ridging, we have much above normal temperatures at the 850 millibar level and all the way down to the surface as well, colder than normal along the western seaboard. Again, this is averaged out over a five-day period in this circumstance, the current five-day period. But let's move ahead here, days two to six, three to seven, four to eight. Same kind of a pattern here, much above normal temperatures across much of the eastern half of the nation, 
colder than normal out in the west, correlated with that deep upper level trough. We go all the way out into the middle part of the month of November, November 12th to the 17th, still above normal temperatures throughout the eastern half, colder than normal in much of the western U.S. Well, let's wrap up by looking at the surface forecast maps from the operational run of the GFS last night at 6E. Notice the flow of air here into the eastern half of the nation is out of the southwest, high pressure off the eastern seaboard, clockwise flow of air is promoting a warm, a warmer flow of air out of the southwest to the northeast. So again, uh, we're getting a little bit milder now over the next few days and looks like above normal temperatures much of the time over the next couple of weeks in the eastern half of the nation. Let's now move forward here and we'll watch here in coming days all this rain down here across the uh, northwestern Caribbean into the southern part of the Gulf of Mexico uh, kind of correlated to the remnants of Ada, and then we'll start to see it show up on the weather maps here. Now, this is now Saturday morning. Here's a reflection of Ada, which again will reemerge over the Caribbean Sea, and that will allow it to intensify again, but probably back into tropical storm status as it heads first to Cuba. Notice high pressure dominating the scene in the Mid Atlantic region. Ada crosses over Cuba here by the latter part of the weekend and then looks like it'll come right to the keys of Florida here. Maybe Key West, for example, could have a direct impact on the uh, what is likely to be a tropical storm, maybe an outside chance of going back into hurricane status here. This is now by the early part of next week. Meanwhile, out in the western U.S., some blues showing up, colder than normal, out in the western U.S., warmer than normal, dominated by high pressure in the eastern U.S., and the tropical troubles down here over the Florida states. Let's go out a little bit farther in time. And notice the system just kind of meanders around. It's just hard to get rid of this particular system. And again, we'll be dealing with the remnants of Ada for at least another week, maybe out to 10 days to 14 days with the remnants. And it spills on over into the Gulf of Mexico here by the middle and latter part of next week. And we'll continue to have to monitor that. Uh, could ultimately make a, it may move towards the northern Gulf Coastal region. Maybe the end of next week we're talking about some rain starting to show up here along the eastern seaboard by the middle part of next week. So a very mild pattern in much of the eastern half of the nation for the next couple of weeks as high pressure ridging dominates the scene. Meanwhile, tropical troubles headed towards Cuba and then the southern part of Florida by the early part of next week. Meanwhile, the western U.S. stays colder than normal throughout much of the time over the next couple of weeks. That's it for now for PerspectiveWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.